there guys, it's Yabba, Yabba Thinking, Wolf Q, and I've decided to just do something completely out of nowhere, completely on a whim, I've decided that I'm going to react to some of the comments of some of my most popular videos, because, I don't know, I just thought it would be fun, so, yeah, let's do it! Hi! I'm Kaba. Hey Kaba. Got something for me? So yeah, this was a video I didn't think that was going to do amazing or as well as it did, but this one uh, really, really caught me off guard. So this one is Hey Kabi uh that we did. It, it was a spoof on uh Marvel. It was basically Kaba being Spider-Man and Khalifla being, um, a character who I will not name because I, 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 I really, really don't like them. I don't like them. But, uh, yeah, but that, that, that's besides the point, right? That, that's besides the point. So let, let's check out the comments, right? Let's read the top comment. Once and again, my belief in the three-way relationship between Kaba, Khalifa, and Kale is reinforced! Another comment says, Always love the in-game references. We love the in-game references as well. I, I, like, I like the in-game references as well. There was no way not one person involved with in-game knew that that was an ara ara moment. Another comment says, uh, what they... <laughs> Laughing emoji and a red heart. This was an awesome nod to Avengers Endgame. You got the Kefla right. She sounds just like Carol. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm not really proud of that, but thank you for your comment. I appreciate it. Uh, we got the artist himself, Omega Ace Studio, saying, Hey, yo, another wonderful dub of my works. Great job. We aim to please. Very glad to entertain. We got another comment saying, "Love the harm, love the harmony in their voice." We all love our Kefla. She's great, isn't she? Another comment says, "We all know she wasn't talking about the Dragon Ball." <laughs> wait, wait. Did, what was she talking about? Pray tell. What was she talking about? Pray tell. I'm curious. No, I want to know. Well, no, no. What? What was she talking about? What? What was she talking about? How is that, Millie? Uh, my name's not Millie. No, but mine is. Huh? <laughs> Do it again. Okay, so another one that we're going to be doing is I'm Not Millie. This was made by uh, Potato Nebula. I did not expect this to get as popular as it did, both on my main and... My shorts, they both did, it, it both cracked over a million. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I, I, I gotta tell you, I, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. I'm happy, but I didn't see it coming. But, you know, it is what it is, and yeah, like, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Fact is facts, and I'm very, very happy about this. This was awesome. So happy that it got a million. So let's check out the comments for I'm Not Millie. Top comment is, I can actually see Millie doing this. I can also see her joining in as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, another one is, uh, by, I guess, Eagle Man, uh, 710 says, Wow, that Millie voice was spot on. Great job. Well, we try to aim to please for accuracy. That, that's what I try to go for. And I'm glad that we got you. This one. <laughs> this is the healthiest marriage I've ever seen. This is healthy? This is healthy? Well, well all right then. I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't think I've ever done this with, with, my, with, with my significant other, but I, I guess this is a healthy relationship. Another comment says, Meanwhile, Blitzo is out the window filming them. I mean, I, I think we can all guess that Blitzo would be out doing this. I mean, this is kind of his M.O. I mean, it's literally in O'Milly, so, you know. I, I can definitely. Another one comment says, So this is after the events of Night with Luna. Millie found a new kink and embraced it. It's funny that... It's funny that they mentioned... 
A Night with Luna. Because that's a comic that I think I'll be doing in the future. So that's very... That's, that's ironic that that was brought up during this. So. <laughs> Another comment says, I love this Family Guy reference. Yep, it is a Family Guy reference. I, I think that's also part of the intrigue of why it happened. You know, um, why it got so popular because of that. I think that played a big role. A big role in this. So, yeah. That Family Guy reference. Another comment says, Funny enough, this actually makes Moxie a little more attractive. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I, 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 uh, does it, guys? Comment in the comment section down below. Does this comic portray Moxie in a much more attractive light? I'm very curious about your thoughts on this. Huh. We got another comment that says, All right, I did not expect that twist. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Another comment is, um, this is a healthy relationship. The only relationship I've seen as healthy is my mom and my stepdad, but dang, Moxie and Millie are both healthy, healthy. Can't find these in drama soap operas. Huh. Huh. Uh, another comment was, surprise, Brit Solis is sitting next to Millie after this. <laughs> uh, another one, a comment that we got was, the accuracy in Millie's voice is quite frightening. Yes, yes it is. And you shall be afraid. Um, another comment says, both voices are spot on. Yes it is, thank you very much, appreciate that. Um, another comment is, I like that the artist gave Millie goat legs like Moxie's just looks cool. Another comment is, okay, I'm not the only one getting bi vibes from Millie, I'm getting full poly vibes from this woman. I can see Millie, you know, you know, doing that. I can see Millie going swaying both. You know, I can see it. I can definitely see it. Another comment is, now that is a plot I was not expecting. Another comment is like, love this. That Millie voice is something. Dude, voices are spot on. Oh my god, this is so how you do the voices. I think, I think my, the greatest thing I've done as a, uh, as a person who produces and directs and stuff is uh, Johnny Wonder, who does Moxie and my Millie, they, they've somehow managed to actually trick the viewers into actually believing they're the actual VAs. And I think that's something you're doing something right when you can actually convince the audience that you're the actual VAs. I think you're doing something right. And I think that's something that I, I'm very proud of when it comes to my VAs because I, I try to go for accuracy as possible or originality and uh, I think they really did bring something here. There's a lot more comments that kind of just kind of goes on that and stuff like that but uh, it pretty much gets the point across so let's move on to uh, one more. Let's do one more. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun going through this. I, li I, like, I, li I like this. This is fun. This is from the Legendary Trio. This will be fun. Let's read the comments from Father Talk. The top comment reads, Super Broly, I miss my dad. Z Broly, you should have worked on your aim. <laughs> That's very accurate. That is accurate. I agree with that sentiment. Here we go. Um, another comment that got like 2K likes. Uh, they, it says, I do like the idea of Kale and the Broly's kind of hanging out having a f or having a family dynamic kale and super broly are siblings and z broly is their troublemaking cousin or uh uncle that they creep out but they love i think they're actually going for them all being like brothers like like z broly is the oldest brother and while uh while kale is supposed to be younger than super broly he's very he has a young childlike mind so she's kind of like the big sister of it all so kind of like that you know but there is an uncle Rolly comic too as well uh quam man oh wow i forgot yeah quam actually uh answer this where do you think you're going dad i get the reference i get the reference <laughs> that reference though cool another comment this is a good one how to expand on your personal space 101 love it that's a, that is a great way of doing it. 
you know, it was so good. Like I said, Cinetic ended up uh, animating it, and I liked the animation just as much because it expanded on it a little bit. Like, so if you haven't seen like the animations, yeah, it, it expands more on the comic. So, yeah, I thought that was just cool. Uh, Jordan uh, says, "This looks so peaceful. All three Broly's chilling and relaxing, and I love it." I love it too. Another comment says, Well, at least DBZ Broly was honest. That he was. You know what? Yeah, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. He was honest. I don't think he has anything to be ashamed of. He was honest. LMAO, I love how indifferent but humorous around but humorous around them. He's insane, sure, but he still hangs around them, even if he is a potential stick of dynamite that is always lit. That is true. True that is. Damn it, Broly, context matters! Fair enough, fair point. I can't blame them because one of them is more bloodthirsty than the canon one. This is why Z Broly is the best. Z Broly smiled. He just wanted to nap by himself. Broly in the Brolyverse. This is perfection. Uh, I like Z and S Broly's voice. Oh, that's good. Another comment says, S Broly, the pure-hearted one, Kale, the shy, pure-hearted one. Zebrally full of black force. <laughs> of black air force energy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, this is this is either I love these comments. I'm liking these uh these comments you guys get. But I think I'm gonna end it here. I just wanted to kinda go through a couple of them because I'm just realizing just how much you guys uh you guys put it together. Like these were like hundreds and hundreds of comments and I was just so entertained. I was like, I, I wanted to read some of these for you guys. Like, you guys have some interesting comments that I'd like to read, and I wanted to just highlight some of you guys. And I appreciate you guys watching the content, and it inspires me to keep going and making more content, making more off the wall content for you to watch. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, um, give it a thumbs up. Um, this was just a little test I wanted to try out, me reading your comments. Uh, if you like it and you think I should do more, let me know. And also, what was some of your favorite comic dubs or animations or content that I've made? I'm actually curious on what kind of brought you to my channel, what made you get into my channel. Um, curious, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye